shit. Holy fucking shit. Hey, anybody there? Brother? More fighting. More death. I can't let this happen again. I won't. To you. Where are the faceless? What, what's happening to me? Why, why, why do I hear your voice inside my head? Children of the sun, Kyle. They were nothing before the outbreak. Just a half-forgotten tradition. An old world faith long dead. I'm tired. I've held this title for so long now. The Mother. It was meaningless. Until it became all too real. I thought their respect came simply because I was a colonel's wife. We had a good, cozy life. After the outbreak, my husband came to get me out. We didn't stand a chance against the horde. We were bitten. He bled to death in my arms. He gave me his cigarette case and asked me to run. He didn't want to hurt me. I was dragged away by the relievers. They came for their mother. It took me a while to remember that my husband didn't smoke. I looked inside. There was a map, a key, and a note with numbers. It led us here. The healthy ones tried to get the power back on. The rest of us went to look for medicine. Wait. We found a locked container. The numbers turned out to be a code. There were strange vials inside. The others looked to me. They could have held medicine. They could have held poison. I felt a seizure coming. I was about to tell him, and I realized, why else would my husband leave me here? I loved him. I trusted him. I remember the taste. Acrid. Bitterest blood. It might have been blood. I awoke. Down there. Surrounded by the remains of the people who had trusted me. It was because of the light. Someone finally turned the power back on. And the light brought me back. You see? Eating the fumes is one thing, but drinking the liquid is something else entirely. In the light, in the sun, my mind is my own. I'm filled with mud you can possibly imagine. But in the dark, my new nature dominates. Mindless, lethal. In the dark. With cruel passion, I rent my own children to pieces. But I swore to myself that I would become the mother they really deserve. But now, you have come, Kyle. And every sign tells me you're the one I've been waiting for. It's in the prophecy, Kyle. Then shall be revealed one man who, through an act of ultimate sacrifice, shall accept the mercy of the no. light. And the God of the Sun shall be revealed through him. And through him will he speak. I just need that medicine to save my friends. Look at my face. There is no medicine. You want mankind to become what I am? Listen to my voice. Beautiful evolution indeed. Minds and souls connected in a telepathic bond. How cool. Look at me! And when the darkness comes, what then? More death, more killing. You can hide from others, but who will hide them from you? But we don't we don't have to drink it with just the mist! But it doesn't matter. Just listen to me. We've been breathing the mist. It will take longer. 
But you're already changing into a monster such as myself. No, wait. Listen! The army built a failsafe into their experiment. This entire region can be purified. The question is, are you ready to sacrifice thousands of lives, Kyle? Yours among them? So what, that's it? Just, just game over. Fuck. Fuck. Alright. So what, what do I do? Wake up the god of the sun. Follow me, Kai. Wait, so the, the, the coming of your god means what we all die? And and the plague. It, it dies with us? Always meant that. And he shall pass through the gates of death so that he may bring you life. If it kills the plague, I mean, I guess it's worth it. This place doesn't look much like the gates of death to me, though. Bowery language, isn't it? I was searching for proof, Kyle, for truth in our traditions. But until his death shattered my hopes, it was proof. What, that there are no miracles? What's a miracle anyway, Kyle? Becoming a sentient volatile? I'm nothing more than a monster. Becoming a hero during the apocalypse? You're just the right man in the right place. So this, this is the failsafe. What do you need me for? The key I got from my husband worked. But the codes he gave me didn't. I know that's the only way. I just don't know how. Codes? Well, you, you, no, your husband, he, he had a failsafe too. He, he left the codes with Attila. So he could decide if he'd stay sane long enough to make a decision. Wait! You have the codes? Attila thought you'd be a better judge. I hope you'll judge me well now. Let this madness end, Kyle. Please. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 